Eritrea, probably one of the most complex diplomatic efforts ever. Africa was a double victim of colonialism. First of all, because of colonialism itself. And I'm particularly at ease because I come from a colonialist country. But second, because when the institutions that are today the pillars of multilateralism, the UN, the Bretton Woods institutions were created, the African countries were not yet independent. They were not there. Their voice could not be heard. And so, they were not represented, and today they remain dramatically underrepresented. Underrepresented in the UN, where there is still not one single African permanent member of the Security Council, which is something that is profoundly unfair and needs to be corrected, but also clearly underrepresented in the Bretton Woods institutions and other international institutions that were created to manage the global economy. The Horn of Africa and the Great Lakes, we continue to face many crises and natural calamities. Kenya, in collaboration with other member states, regional organizations, and the UN, provides political leadership towards resolving some of these very complex challenges. Specifically, Kenya has taken a leading role in championing peace in Eastern DRC through the ESC-led Nairobi process. We are keen to work with all international partners to restore peace and security in the Sudan. Somalia provides an opportunity to act in concert to consolidate gains made since the deployment of AMISO in 2007. Kenya is proud of the United Nations offices in Nairobi and has invested heavily in the UN complex and Gigiri areas infrastructure. I call upon the leadership of the UN to strengthen the United Nations office in Nairobi to effectively extend its services to the Global South.